A lot of watercolor painters have a problem with keeping their darks dark enough. I have a little exercise here that might help you solve that problem. Sometimes keeping the darks dark enough has to do with whether you start out with a palette that is uh, where the paint is already set up or whether you're painting with paint fresh out of the tubes. Now if you're using paint fresh out of the tubes it doesn't get to be quite the problem as it is when the paint has already set up in the palette. Well um, if it's set up in the palette I like to take um, just, just a um, spray bottle and spray the paints before before I start. I'll usually do that maybe three or four minutes before I start before I start working uh, but we can we can go ahead with it now because the real key to keeping the darks dark enough is to activate that um, that paint so that it then can stay dark. Now what I mean by activate I'll go to well we can get any of these dark colors to, to work with but I'll just go into one of the the blues here perhaps you can see better by activating, we go into the paint with a brush with, that's wet but doesn't have too much water dripping out of it because the water is, is acts like white with watercolor, as you know. The water is going to make the color lighter. And so we can go then with a brush that doesn't have too much water on and just simply work the brush in that paint. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Not just two or three strokes. But work the dickens out of it until you see it beginning to turn. Uh, be, uh, when I say activate, I mean that um, the color gets um, the color is more or less melted. I think of the color as being melted. It's in this hardened form of once it sets up in the palette, and so you kind of think of the color being melted. Now it needs to look a little bit thick, and so when you pull it out on the palette like that if the paint doesn't go flowing all over the place it's probably well activated but it doesn't hurt to activate some more now if you uh, can, you can test that on just a sheet of dry paper first of all and you see the the, the paint that I pulled out of the, the little well here uh, after I activated it is quite dark here and we know watercolor dries uh, lighter but this being put onto dry paper, it's going to dry pretty much the same value as we see right here. The problem comes with most people um, when they put, or they're trying to get their darks dark in wet on the wet paper. So um, I'm going to rinse the brush out here. Now on wet paper, you're going to need more paint. And the reason you're going to need more paint is that when you have wet paper here, you have more water and more water means lighter color. So that means what we have here is going to be, have to be just a little bit thicker. There's less water here when there's more water here. Well, let me show you my little technique for doing that. Uh, I'll go back in here with a brush and, and I'm going to reactivate, reactivate. Now you could, you could work this uh, paint until you get a whole bunch of, of color activated. Um, more, the more you the more you work a, a wet brush into this paint, the more activated it becomes. Now I'm going to push that out, pull more, push that out, pull more, push that out. And get that ready. Now I like to just, uh, a lot of people worry about wasting the color, that, that good color that's in the brush, but I always think that it's better to put it in the water than it is to waste the painting. So I'll pull that out. Now. I want to wet the, 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 um, the paper. So uh, we'll just give the paper a nice soaking here with water. We could do that with the bottle or it doesn't matter. And the paper, if the paper is uh, of the, the degree to which the paper is wet is also going to determine just how dark your dark is going to dry. So I'm going to get that really, really soaked, and you see I'm getting it soaked by continuing to move the, the wet brush back and forth on the paper. Now that's probably soaked enough. Alright, now we know that when we can see a gloss on the paper, 
that's wet. That's really wet. As that gloss begins to disappear, more and more the water is evaporating. The drier the paper, therefore, the less, uh, the less we have to worry about how much water is in the brush. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Now, if we take a piece of paper towel, and I like to kind of fold it into a little pad like this. Now, I'm going to go back into this color. This is wet, very wet. I'm going to go back into my blue. I'm going to activate it again, activate here again. I'm going to go back in this into this pile again. I see that if the if you see the brushes start to uh, the bristles start to separate, you know you don't have enough water in the brush for the for the brush to be doing its job. So I, I did see the bristles separating just a little bit there. Activate, activate. Now push the paint against the palette. If when you push it against the palette like that, it looks dark and doesn't separate, it's probably going to be dark enough. But just to be sure, hold the just the part of the brush that has no paint in it, the part right next to this little metal thing, metal part, hold the brush right there and allow the excess water to soak into the paper towel. So just like that. Then, when you stroke that dark color on there, it should be very dark. Now, I stroked it intentionally right here on the, the wetter part. I'm going to pick up more paint. This is cobalt blue that I'm working with. So cobalt blue um, is not the darkest blue. So that's about as dark as I would expect cobalt blue to go. And here it is in the damper part. And you see it's even darker there. Now that is going to dry a little bit lighter. Um, so if I... You have to be careful about uh, adding wet. If I put another coat over here and here like that, then that's going to be, that's going to dry pretty dark. Uh, probably, uh, probably as dark as you want it be, to be. Now, there is one thing I want to warn you about, and you may, if you, if you're accustomed to working in watercolor, you know this already. You never want uh, the watercolor paint without water in it to go on the paper. The watercolor, as it comes out of the tube, is kind of a little pasty, it, it has uh, a gum in it, and it will not dry if it goes on the paper without having some water in it to activate it. So the paint must be activated. So to pull it straight out of the tube to get it dark enough and straight onto the paper is not the way to go. You want it activated so that the, the paint adheres to the paper and doesn't uh, stay sticky. So practice that. Practice the, the things that I was pointing out to you about how to activate the paint. Uh, how to pull the excess water out of the brush, um, stroking it on a damp and very wet, and explore the various degrees of uh, water that need to be uh, removed or out of the paper or out of the brush in order to make your color, your watercolor, dark enough. And if you found this quick tip helpful, why not explore our full length instructional videos? At DianeMize.com, you will see that we have numerous downloads and DVDs for you to select from, over a hundred. So give it a try, and there's your quick tip.